Hi, my name is Mark Mayo, and today we're going to service this SX Raptor. Uh, I borrowed this from a friend. He's loaned this to me a couple of times. On one trip, I got limits of yellowtail one day and limits of school size yellowfin tuna the next day. And of all things, the deckhand during the crew fish off wanted to fish this reel. Tells you this is a good one. Uh, you need a screwdriver to make this work. I use the Mega Pro. It has a, uh, uh, this is a stainless. It has a 332nd and 764 bit. Start by unscrewing the knurled tension knob, drag tension knob. Take it out with the screw. Turn the, uh, the, uh, the drag lever forward and unscrew these standoffs. Okay, these are plastic. There's plastic parts in this, so you need to be careful always to not hurt them. Off came uh, one of them. I usually like to reassemble them, put them in good shape. These two metal washers go at the bottom, and the rest of it goes at the top. There'll be a, a little gouge out on this end. That's the free spool side. All right. Now you need to flip the bit over and start to take off the side plate screws. All of the small Raptors pretty much are the same. SX, MXJ, and JX. All very strong, all excellent reels. This is uh, fished with 30 by my friend Randall. I fished 30 and 40 on it, and I have seen him catch on this reel a 100 pound yellowfin tuna using 40 on this reel. So it's quite a beast. Set this aside, pull out the spool, and now it's time to start to clean. Wipe off the whole inside. Make sure you get all corrosion out of here. And then take a fresh brush and brush just on the bottom layer there you're just preventing corrosion now we can start working on the spool as you can see there's different parts that are going to come out we're going to have a drag washer we're going to have a spring we're going to have a drag plate now this we're going to start taking the bearings off here's the large bearing here's a, a spacer washer and here's the small bearing out comes the spindle and here's our sleeve. I would suggest you wipe this off, keep it as a unit. Take a look at the bearing that's here. One side is open, one side has a shield on it. I put a couple of drops of oil in it and then I'll test it. It's very smooth. I'm gonna put it with the shield down. I'm gonna clean the sleeve and put the sleeve on it, and then work on the spool itself. Pretty clean in here. Look for corrosion on both sides. When you've cleaned it, put this back there, make sure the sleeve stays there. Sometimes I put one drop of oil on the, the uh, uh, shaft, bring it in, turn it around till it seats into place, and now it's start to Time to start to uh, clean some of these bearings and check them. I'm oiling this. Got to check it with the Q-tip. Feels very smooth. Put it on. The uh, open side went down. The shielded side went up. I put this washer on next. And now it's time to do the larger bearing. So this also feels in really good shape. Randall takes excellent care of his reel, so I would expect nothing less. All right, here's our, uh, our one of our drag plates, a little bit of oil on it. Two sides to it, one with bumps, one with a cutout that fits that bearing, so let's put it in place. Now we have a drag washer. This is Cal's grease. We're going to rub it back and forth. Uh, this reel has probably caught a couple of hundred fish, no less. Some of them quite substantial at the ridge. I was just amazed the first year he was using it. So uh, I did not think this reel could put up with what it did, but it did. 
and the drag plate looks almost brand new. Now I've put the grease on, I've wiped off as much as I can, and I'm going to put it back in place. Then there's the spring, and that's done. Now time to take this drag plate out, clean it. There is a, uh, a bearing in there, I can push it out. This one has seals on both sides. I'm going to just to see how it feels. It's very smooth, so I'm not going to worry about it. If you need to, you can clean those. You can take that blue shield out with either a pin or a, a light circle hook. Anyway, this hole goes this way, and that's done. Now it's time to look at this side. As with all two-speed reels, there's going to be a couple of gears, pinion gears, so I'm going to remove the gears, he said. There we go. Gears are out. There's a small one and a large one. They pull apart. If you get it backwards and you go to put it back together, you're going to notice it won't go. Turn it the other way and it will indeed fit. And go ahead and put a little bit of grease in all of the gear teeth. And the narrow end goes down first. You can look and see if there's anything down in here that needs to be worked on. There was a little bit of grease underneath the uh, uh, dog actuating arm, so I got rid of that. This is down there. That's excellent. Now put some oil on the dog and put some oil on the arm. And then paint a tiny amount of grease on all these aluminum surfaces. Don't put anywhere, any near the, uh, the dog itself. That hole, this spindle, put it together, turn it. That clunk is a fairly useful sound. It tells you that you got the reel back together basically the way you want to. The sides all mesh up and you can start putting the screws back together. I take it easy here, get the screws in a little bit, make sure the handle moves smoothly. If not, just loosen it up turn the handle some more till everything works out. As long as the handle does not bind in any way and the spool doesn't move, you've got it oriented correctly. So as I continue to feel it's just great, I'm going to screw in the rest, get them just sort of tight and then go back and torque them a bit. They do not require a lot of torque, but you need to make sure that you've got them tight. There you go, handle moves. Um, there's some metal on the bottom of these, so I'd say a little bit of grease right here would be in order to make sure that your corrosion doesn't give you a problem. Flip this over. And put this back on. Okay, once again, just a reminder, there's those black pieces of plastic. Those are easily deformed, so just get this sort of tight, much looser than you would the uh, screws that hold the side plate in place. Wipe off all your excess grease. And then take your drag lever, go forward slightly, push it down, and go backwards. Put a little bit of grease here. and put the knurled knob back in place. When you start to hear some noise, it means you're getting close to the correct drag setting. Spins, we'll check the free spool. For a Raptor, that's really, really good. You might do a couple of things. Check the uh, shifter. You can put some, uh, some oil one drop in here, play with it a bit, work it back and forth so that that oil has a chance to wipe off your excess. Put a drop of oil here, spin the handle, wipe off your excess, and then play with these screws down here. I can see that his are coated with grease and they're clean. He's got his uh, clamp upside down, but that's the way he stores it. 
this is in good shape. You want to always put the reel in clicker and take it all out in free spool when you're done. There you have it. Thank you.